All right, so planks are probably one of my favorite exercise to do, especially when it comes to low back pain, because if you can do them really well and you can master them and do them in a way that actually produces results, they're limitless. You can do all different kinds of variations and they're amazing. If there's only a couple of exercises that I would do as far as core training, planks and other variations of the plank would be in my program. Now, today I'm gonna give you an awesome plank workout that you can follow along to. We're gonna break it down. Each exercise is gonna be 45 seconds being held. Then you'll have an optional five to 60 second break every two exercises, okay? Two exercises, break, two, break, and then the final two. And we're gonna crank up some music, work through these things. If I have some specific coaching cues, I'll jump in and bring the volume up and chat with you for a second. But if not, we're just gonna rock this. All right, so the first two variations we're gonna do are on our elbows. We're gonna do an elbow Superman punch plank, and then an on our side plank, all right? Let's get into it, 45 seconds on the clock. I got my timer here, grab your timer. On your elbows, we're doing plank punches. Watch this. seconds to go. Nice and easy, don't rotate the hips. We're gonna transition to an elbow, elbow side plank. Rotate. Start to 45 seconds. We're gonna hold right here. Now of course we're gonna do both sides. Keep it up, keep it up, last five seconds. Ooh, it burns, it burns. Come down nice and gentle. Flip around to the other side. Bring your stopwatch with you. Get up and get going. The position of your plank, how you wanna do them is up to you. Um, some people like to stack like this. Some people like their top leg forward like this. Some people like the bottom leg forward. I'm not partial to any one of them. I think this one feels a little bit better on my hips, but it doesn't really matter. So we've got 20 seconds left of here. Hang on to this nice and tight, coming out of it nice and gentle, keeping that spine neutral. About 10 seconds left, we're gonna take an optional five second to 60 second break. You don't have to do it, but take some kind of break. Time. All right, so next we're gonna do is a straight arm standard plank. Just a straight arm, 45 seconds, straight arm standard plank, just like this. A little flash, trying to get a free ride. I don't think so. We're just hanging out. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your butt. We're here for 45 seconds. seconds left. Once you leave this spot here, we're going to go straight into a side plank. A straight arm side plank. 45 seconds. This might be easy for some of you. This might be really hard for some of you. You can hold the time for longer. Hold it for shorter. Here we go. Switch. Boom. This is going to be a toughie. This is going to be a toughie. Can you do it? Shoulders burning, I know, it hurts. You're sweating profusely. You were done when the first 45 seconds started. This might be tough for some people's shoulders, so if you have to kind of come down and shake it off a little bit, that works. I'm already shaking. Good form. Again, don't sacrifice time for form. So if you are starting to break down, you're like, 
and you're doing this kind of thing, just stop. Take a break. See that arm shaking? Two seconds left. Boom. We're going to come down. Switch to the other side here. Oh, my head got chopped off. Switch to the other side here. Straight arm plank and go. So after this one, we're gonna do another break. Again, the breaks don't have to be a full length, full minute break. You can do five seconds. You can go right into the next exercise. Whatever works best for you, you can do that. We've got 20 seconds left. seconds left. Again, optional break. Five seconds to 60 second break. Time. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do are the side plank rotations. Big deal with getting to the side plank. Start back with your hips back and then move into the plank. If you have to do them on your knees, you can do that. But these are gonna be plank rotations. So I'll show you different couple of angles with here. Get in here, what you're gonna do, taking your arm, rotating under, nice and slow. You want the same consistent contraction the entire time, okay? Turn under, and back. Turn under, and back. What you don't wanna do is kinda like be, be shaking and, and catching and jolting as you're turning. You want to have a smooth rotation, smooth rotation. I will say that having the top leg out front during the rotations is ideal. Switch, switch. Other side, get set up. Here, rotate nice and slow. You got to make sure you have a consistent contraction during these rotations. Especially if you have a sensitive low back. Slight movement, slight sh adding a little extra shear can mess it up a little bit, okay? One, straight arm plank, knee to elbow, nice and slow. Here we go, ready? 45 seconds on the clock, knee to elbow, nice and slow. Don't rush it. This isn't a mountain climber. I want you to come out here like this, not here, here. Show you some different angles here. All right, so that's it. That was one round of that. Obviously, it's a great combination of exercises. That's one round. I want you to do at least two to three rounds of that. One round can be tough for some people. If it's too tough, stick to one round. If you need more, it's not a good enough challenge. I feel like I have maybe two or three more rounds in me before I really start breaking down. Pick how many rounds you want to do. Follow the exact same routine. Two exercises, break. Two exercises, break. Final two exercises. Each exercise gets 45 seconds with a five to 60 second break max in between each set. Before you run off, I've got a free gift if you are actually into core training, you have some low back sensitivity, you wanna learn how to do it the correct way, check out www.fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash core blueprint. I show you exactly the way I think when it comes to core training, how someone with a sensitive low back should be training their core, how they should not be training their core, and all the big mistakes that a lot of people make in their daily program, whether they're working with a trainer or doing it on their own. This free download is perfect for you if you want to learn how to train core the right way 
and doing it a lot smarter so you can protect your back and reduce the sensitivity you might be having. So check it out, fitnessforbackpain.com forward slash core blueprint. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next episode.